So welcome to part 4 of our uh, 5 mil budget demon hunter and in this part of the videos we're going to go over the quests and when I mean go over the quests I mean actually do them so in this part we're going to do the first quest which is signaling the beacons and we're going to do it with our gear that was obtained with 5 mil well actually we spent 4 mil and uh, since part 1 I upgraded my boots and my boots now have 12% movement speed so I spent uh, 200k on these boots and 250k actually I have the screenshot of my purchase history if you guys need it if you don't believe me um, just to hover over my equipments really quick it is the same equipments that we obtained in part one so no uh, cheap shenanigans going on here uh, just straight fair play so in this part uh, actually so total for a total amount we spent 4.2 mil or 4.1 mil actually so I kept my gold around here I had to give it to my friend so <laughs> so that I end up with 900k um, so we're going to do the first quest so we're going to light five signal beacons and we're starting off here so just to go over our strategy a little bit uh, the goal is to use slow skills as well as call of the week which boosts slow damage right and smoke screen and shadow power are our escape and healing skills right so if ever you have a potion that's on cooldown and you need to heal immediately just use the shadow power and you'll you'll be at full health again so shadow power is kind of like a free heal and smoke screen is kind of like an urgent escape skill um, at the beginning here you'll usually see like a bunch of guys pop out and this will happen every single time so just quickly move back and that meteor also happens every single time and there's also a meteor here I believe which uh, it used to make this a popular farm spot for people to level but not anymore because Blizzard hotfixed it or nerfed it or something so these bo these dogs are faster than you and since they're faster than you you want to use shadow power um, if you use smoke screen the 1.5 seconds is not enough uh, you'd much rather have three seconds of immunity as opposed to one second one and a half second right uh, you have to be very careful about these wing guys because uh, they hurt a lot I tested out the damage from most of these monsters and I would say that the wings guy, wing guys hurt the most. So you see we took about 40% of our max HP with uh, shadow power on. So you don't want to get hit by this unless you have shadow power but it's still not that reliable. It's easier to just keep moving and avoid the damage, right? One thing you also want to keep in mind is uh, to keep an eye on your minimap. Uh, these signal beacons, they uh, sometimes you might miss them and walk past them, which is kind of annoying to walk back. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, so my goal here is to actually encounter at least two elites. So hopefully we hit two elites. Uh, no promises because I'm not really sure. This is RNG we're playing against here, so. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's random number generation. You just don't know how many elites per area you're going to get. Whoops. So, there seems to be an endless mobs in these stupid grunts. And I think the reason for that is they have one of those, yeah, this guy, who raises them from the dead and makes things really annoying for us. So hopefully you should try to snipe them as early as possible so that you don't have to deal with so many summons. So we didn't miss any signal beacon, so that's good. Oh, playing uh, some AI abuse here. So, th a common complaint was that Act 3 is so mobby, right? And to, to handle that, uh, just go slowly. If you need time to kill some mobs, be patient. Don't uh, run through them unnecessarily. You could run through them to save time, 
Uh, but if you do end up hitting an elite sometime forward, uh, you're going to be kiting that elite backwards, right? <laughs> and the last thing you want to do is run into a mob that you previously skipped with uh, either smoke screen or something like that. So I'm going to try to avoid that. Uh, this is our first beacon, so let's go from the bottom direction. Hopefully it'll be less mobbed. Okay, so we hit an elite. So this is kind of good. This guy is fast, and I think he looks really annoying. So hopefully we can uh, avoid this, avoid dying when we kill him. So he's obviously much faster than us, and. So, wh what is the strategy when he's faster than us, right? The strategy is to keep shadow power on. You do not want to smoke screen. Because if you smoke screen, um, you're gonna get hit. He's gonna chase you, and he's gonna chase you down, and you're going to get hit. So, what you wanna do is you wanna just keep kiting as long as possible. And when you're stuck at the entrance, you just switch directions, right? So, I need to be very conservative with my mana here. Because he's at, what, half health, and we have one discipline bar with prep on cooldown. So we have to be very careful how we uh, kite this guy. So we want to use our shadow powers sparingly, right? Because, well, for that reason there. So I use the pot there, just so I don't die. Uh, conveniently, there's a health globe there, but I don't want to rely on health globes. So he's about 500k health left, and I think we should be killing this guy fairly easily. So this guy was uh, fast, so when he's fast, that means he's obviously faster than you, right? And if so, just to kind of go over what we did there, we used shadow powers to tank him because he was much faster than us. And if we use smoke screen instead of shadow powers, um, he's going to catch up to us. So. That's what happened there. An alternative is to use Caltrops. Perfectly fine. If you're good with Caltrops, I don't see a reason why not. But um, it's just a difference in playstyles, I guess. So I'm gonna signal. I'm gonna activate this beacon, and I'm just gonna smoke screen out of here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, I want to save time for this video. So I want this video to be hopefully 15 minutes long or around there. So. I'm not too sure how I'm doing right now because um, I'm kind of recording. I didn't keep a stopwatch or anything, so hopefully this works out in the best interest of uh, uh, at least time-wise. So we got two out of five beacons. We killed an elite already, and the elite was fast. So if he was reflect, it would have been uh, kind of more interesting. So hopefully next time we hit at least a reflect. Maybe shielding. Shielding is pretty troublesome. Uh, I don't know if this leads to a beacon. I really hope not. So let's hope there's no beacon there. Because that would really suck that we have to explore that again. Uh, I'm just gonna skip these guys. I don't think it's worth uh, killing the mobs. And there's a beacon this way. So we have to be really careful. That there's a lot of ranged guys and there's an elite. So. That's fine. I don't really mind. It's uh, illusionist. Oh, one thing we have to be careful is because we skipped a mob here, so we have to watch out for that. So what is this guy? Illusionist, fire chains, desecrator, and molten. So um, I don't expect we'll have any troubles with this guy. He's perfectly kiteable. He's not fast. He's not anything really. That's unfortunate. Uh, if he was at least reflect could have uh, went over a little episode on how to manage your discipline properly against reflect mobs, but unfortunately it didn't work out this way, but that's okay. We're still killing elite. Elite. An elite is an elite, so I'm not going to take anything away from that. So, of course we have a lot of space, we can kite forever, but... Um, what I kind of want to do is I want to switch directions, so if you're ever low on space, you could always switch directions when you're doing mobs like this, or elites like this at least. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch directions here. And that's it, just keep kiting, keep slowing. Um, you can see that I'm using this entangling shot as our primary. 
otherwise he would catch up to us. So just an ex as an experiment, look, he's um, he's faster than us, so he should be catching up to us, right? Well, that's unfortunate. So this guy just sucks. Uh, there's not much to say about this guy, so we're just going to clean him up. So, I imagine Stoneford Elites are not that bad. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Molten almost killed us there. So, anyways, I imagine uh, Stoneford, uh, not Stoneford, but uh, this area's Elites are not that bad. What other Elites could you have? You could have the uh, Wing guys, you could have these ranged guys, but for the ranged guys, all you do is just shoot and move diagonally, right? And you'll be perfectly fine against them. Same thing for the wind guy, wing guys. Anything that's ranged, honestly. So you could just uh, move it in this pattern and avoid damage like that. So, okay, so we missed the signal beacon. It was this way. I'll go uh, down in this direction. So that's three out of five after this guy. So. Maybe we'll be lucky or unlucky, depending how you look at it, and we'll get a third elite, so we'll see how things turn out. Okay, so this guy almost one-shotted us, so we have to be very careful not to die. So, it turns out that you can survive a hit from even the range guys. I actually didn't expect that you could, but you could. So, there you have it. So, there's nothing that should one-shot you in this area, so if you're not going to get one-shotted, you should be perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna quickly signal, light this beacon, and get out of here. Alright, good stuff. My prep was on cooldown too, so that was a little risky. Uh, that's okay, so we have two more signal beacons to do. <clears throat> Maybe we'll hit one more elite. That would be kind of nice. Hopefully not invulnerable minion because uh, kind of have to skip invulnerable minions uh, unless it's a slow and kiteable invulnerable. Then you should be okay. So we'll see how things work out. Uh, be careful about the ramp. You can't see up the ramp, so don't get sniped by some ranged mob. I kind of want to skip these guys, but. Uh, wow, there's meteors here and stuff being thrown at us, so have to be very careful not to die. Not enough discipline. Alright, so hopefully the third signal beacon is fairly close. I expect it to be. The first three were pretty close to each other, so let's see how things work out. I'm being very careful here because um Oh, this guy keeps spawning stuff. So this guy's really, really annoying. Uh, I don't know how how that grunt, his range was so high for some reason. But anyways, moving on here. Um, I kind of wasted a shadow power there. I shouldn't have, but that's how it's gonna go. So I really want to kill these guys. Okay, so we can snipe them from the top here. That's very nice. So we got one down. One more. Finally, they can stop spawning these things at us. So. That's it. We're, we see our fourth signal beacon. We've got a healing well here. And hopefully it should be this way. Good. Any elites? No elites? Two elites is a pretty good number because um, on average there's about two to four elites per map. So two to four elites is perfectly reasonable. Actually one to four I want to say, but sometimes I hit five so no guarantees. So we got... is this an elite? Oh, damn. Okay. Damn. Well, that's okay. So we got 4 out of 5 signal beacons, um, I think I'm going to end this video at this part. Next part I'm going to do Stonefort, which is immediately after this level. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll record it, maybe 
a few hours from now after I take a break. I just stopped farming <laughs> and I decided to take a break for this video, but uh, uh, I've been kiting way too much today. <laughs> it kind of hurts the wrist. Uh, well, that's another thing, if you have an attack speed bow and you end up kiting, um, it's pretty taxing on your wrist, so you have to be kind of careful about that. Uh, you might not feel it now, but after years of doing this, you're gonna feel it. I played StarCraft, so uh, I really feel that marine micro. Oh, okay, so this guy one-shotted us. That's kind of unfortunate. So you have to be really careful not to get hit by these guys. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of have to... Nah, it should be like a 30 second walk, so we got hit here. Uh, our gears are almost broken, so that's from before. I guess I didn't repair. <coughs> oh. Alright, so moving on. Where's the fifth? Uh, hopefully, it should be somewhere nearby. <coughs> Why am I clearing mobs this way? So, we want to go this way, hopefully. I think the fifth signal beacon should be really close. If we look at the distance between them, it's pretty small, so we should be fine. So, there it is. So, I'm kind of going to rush through this content a little bit, uh, just to show you guys that you can rush through it without dying as well. So, rushing you can just smoke screen through these guys and you'll be perfectly fine so here's Asmodan he's greeting us I skipped his little message here and that's it we got our first quest so good stuff we've seen the catapults could break blah 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 and we're at stone fort so hopefully you hopefully you guys enjoy this unfortunately we only got uh, two elites here but that's okay oh we don't want to get sniped by this guy and this guy so we got two elites here, and that's all for this part. So in the next episode, I'm going to go over Stonefort. Uh, some people have troubles with Stonefort, and I'm planning to go forward like this throughout all of Act 3. So there's probably going to be one episode per, per uh, what do you call it, per quest. Alright, so that's all for today, so I'll see you guys next time. See ya.